Hi everybody, my name is Neen Fahouzi and this is my first time doing the Super Bowl chili cook-off. Right here, my chili has homemade pinto beans, freshly made with ground beef, pinto beans cooked with pork hock. Um, I added tomato juice, chili, chili powder, onion, tomato, cilantro, garlic, um, red pepper spice and gomino which is cumin and jalapenos. It tastes kind of hot, right? I actually yet I have not tried it yet. I'm going to try it in a little bit because I'm waiting for all my spices to seep through and cook. Yeah. So Okay, thank you. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lisa, and I'm making Italian um, um, chili this year with homemade meatballs and homemade pasta. You got any secret ingredients in there? Yeah, but they're a secret. Yeah, secret. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, this chili one, the Jamaican jerk chicken chili. I'm not making that one this year. How you doing? My name is Joe. It's my third year in Chili Cook-Off. Tried a little something different here. Got about 16 pounds of beef in here, black Angus beef, and uh, 8 pounds of Miesfeld's brats. And a couple extra spices that I can't tell you about, so hopefully they're going to be the winning spices. But we'll see. I hope people enjoy it. Well, we just love this event. We, we do this every year as a father-son team. Um, we go under the name of First Blood Chili um, at the state chili cook-off level. We've won People's Choice at the, uh, at the state level and also here two years ago. And uh, this year we're trying a, a bit of a different take on our, our traditional recipe. Um, we've tried a couple of different seasonings um, and we're messing around with the, with the cook times and it's just, it's a really good experience and every batch of chili is a little different. So um, you never know what, quite what you're going to get until it turns out. And you're always constantly tweaking it, so it's uh, it's a lot of fun to come out here and do this, and uh, I enjoy it every year. Thanks. Thank you. and I am making a chili that is gourmet for the vegetarians and for the non-vegetarians for those meat lovers and it is beautiful and my specialty ingredient is my homemade taco seasoning we have every color you can imagine in here it's gonna be beautiful and delicious and I'm gonna turn all you meat lovers into veggie lovers <laughs> Welcome to the 2012 Super Bowl of Chili Chili Cook-Off at Memorial Mall with 106.5 The Buzz. My name is Randy um, and my chili is called Red Zone Chili. Uh, it's a basic uh, red sauce chili and it does have uh, a little bit of jalapeno in there for a little bit of bite. Um, I have your basic condiments to go along with it, the noodles, uh, the oyster crackers, onions and cheese and I hope they enjoy it. Hi, uh, my name is Drew Tempest. I'm here at the Memorial Mall and I am uh, making some chili here. Um, today I'll be making my uh, rainbow tortellini uh, Italian chili. 
Um, I got seven different kinds of uh, peppers in here. Um, some jalapenos, some uh, bell peppers, and I got a uh, special ingredient, ingredient uh, tortellini, and uh, three Floyds, Robert the Bruce beer. It's my favorite beer. You open up. Hi, my name is Mary, and I'm cooking a red base chili here at the mall today. Um, it's pretty much a basic home recipe I came up with. I combined two different kinds of recipes. Um, come and have a little sample. I'm going to combine it with some firecracker cheese later, and hopefully people will like it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Sandy. This is our first time. We're Cedar Creek Chili, and this is our first time entering the competition. We're excited to be here. And uh, I guess our secret ingredient is chipotle peppers to give it that smoky hot flavor. Did you start in it last night? Um, yes. Started cooking the meat and uh, got everything all chopped up last night. And then got up really early this morning and did a few more things <laughs> before we came here. Hi, my name is uh, Matthew Stream. This is uh, beef tenderloin chili. <clears throat> I have uh, some spices in here. I have the, um, some uh, chili powder in here and corn, <clears throat> beef tenderloin, bell peppers, red and green for the garnish, and then I have some tomato sauce in here. What I do is I marinate the, the meat for overnight and I cook the meat last thing and stuff and then I put some uh, cayenne pepper in there, cumin, salt, pepper, <coughs> garlic powder and stuff and that's all I put in my chili. Hi, I'm Margie. Our chili is three different kinds of roast peppers. Um, uh, <laughs> roast beef ribs that have been cooked in the oven for over seven hours. Um, homegrown tomatoes and um, what else do we have in there, honey? <laughs> well, we toast all our spices prior to uh, bringing them to the event. So, what else? We make our homemade beef broth and everything to put in there. That adds a little kick to it. And uh, this year we're going to go with something different. We're going to try put some red grapes in there. It's sweet and spicy. Hopefully it's a good choice among the uh, tasters today. So we'll see what happens. We'll know in a couple hours. So come on down. Taste it. Thank you. Yep. Thanks. We're Dave and Rebecca, and we have our Blazing a Trail chili here. It has three different kinds of meats in there. It has the tenderloin that is marinated in a garlic chili oil, and then the um, ground beef, and then it has seven different kinds of peppers in there that he makes with it. So a little bit of a kick. <laughs> Hi, I'm Keith. Today we've got a 13 bean meatless chili. And it's a homemade recipe. It's kind of my own recipe. And I make it up as I go along and probably won't do it the same way again twice.
When did you start cooking last night? No, actually, all I did last night was uh, cook the beans, or not cook, the, but uh, you know, moisten the beans, wet the beans. Started cooking everything this morning. Lots of feet, lots of beans, good food. Come on down. Fire away. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, how are you doing today? Pretty good. Good. Well, welcome to Sheboygan. <laughs> Thanks for having me down. Did you uh, bring your pep to this one along? Uh, I brought a little bit of it, some, some Rolades. Uh, looking forward to it, it should be a fun day. Uh, what are you doing lately? Uh, still living in Wisconsin. I've uh, been living in Green Bay now for 22 years. I uh, actually have a son that's graduating as a senior this year and actually just accepted to West Point, so very proud of him. And his younger brother's right behind him. Hopefully he'll be going to college here in another year or so. So just living in Wisconsin. Okay, well, we'll see you at the, uh, the chili uh, eating contest. Okay? Yep, we'll see you there. Yep, yeah. it should be fun. Yeah, okay, thanks. All right, you bet, Bubba. One more. Good? Who you got on there so far? Yeah. Who are those people? same thing twice so um, it's always worked out though pretty well um, the base is primarily your stew meat and some ground meat and then we got some line and kugels honey weiss in there just to have some little cutting on it and quite a few different beans and garbanzos they started adding this last year because they nice little pop in it so get you guys each little container here how much do they want in the basic chili with good flavor and good seasonings. So I hope you enjoy. Um, I have your standard uh, condiments that go with it. The noodles, the crackers, onions, cheese. Um, 
Help yourself. taco seasoning is the special ingredient here and also we wanted to separate ourselves from everybody else and so we have a half vegetarian chili. <laughs> I call it half vegetarian Which because half vegetarian? <laughs> the stuff that doesn't have a little meat. It's mainly vegetables with a splash of beef, ground beef. And that's specifically for my husband. <laughs> and our theme is for the love of chili. Because we love chili I better not go too much. Remember last year I ran out of chili? Yep. That's not good. No. Yes, the tums are flowing. <laughs> right, assistant? Yes, the tums are flowing. And we have only one spot on the shirt if you want to pan down to the spot on the shirt. <laughs> that was from table one. <laughs> but nothing's happened since. Yes, you've been amazing. Yes, since I know. <laughs> How are you holding out? Good. Very good. Yeah. Are we moving already? How are you holding out? About the same as every year at this point, so it's good. Good eating, good field this year. I'm impressed. Chili's excellent. Any favorite, favorite one? Uh, so far, I haven't tried them all. We're aiming at number seven at the moment. Chili number six, Matthew Snorek. Matt, where are you? Right. While we get Matt up here. Thank you. But you are. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Moving right along to the fourth place chili, winning a $150 Memorial Hall gift card and this beautiful trophy right here. Slightly larger. So that's how you can tell, kind of. 
Uh, Chili number 18, Sandy Weber. Come on up, Sandy. In third place, 200 bucks worth of pick and save gift cards, meaning they broke even on their groceries for today, probably. <laughs> Chili number 10, Lisa James. Lisa. Just want to tell everybody the voting was incredibly close this year, by the way. So the difference between the sixth place chili and the first place chili was maybe 20 points. It was incredibly close. Uh, let's see, second place, 300 bucks worth of pick and save gift cards. Chili number 20, David Carini. People's Choice Award next? All right. The Vaunted People's Choice Award, the winner of the $50 Memorial Ball gift card, and more importantly, this year's Golden Ladle, which they will display proudly in their kitchen. Silver? Silver, gold, whatever. They win the ladle, which, whatever, yes, the Platinum Ladle. There we go. Very good. That'd be chili number seven, Randy Anderson. That is, of course, an heirloom quality ladle, which he will now pass down to his grandchildren. All right, now here we go, the big build-up. Your first place chili, winner of the air hockey table, sitting right behind you there, which is going to look good in somebody's basement. 650 bucks for that thing from Sears. The winner, chili number eight, Heather Visa. Congratulations once again to all of our contestants. And thanks for donating the food for the food pantry. It's going to go to a great place. We'll see you back here next year for more chili, all right, guys?